Hi everyone. Welcome to KTR training. This is my third video and in this video I'm going to cover the file types and file extensions. Now if you observe this table, here we are having several workbenches and each and every workbench is having different file type and file extension. Now while creating a file, uh, you have to save it using a file type and after saving it, you will have an extension. So suppose if you take an image file, uh, image file can be saved in several formats like JPEG or PNG or SVG depending upon the application. And in the same manner, if you want to create a file in KTAV file, you have to save it using the predefined file types like part, product, drawing and etc. And in the same manner, after saving the file, you will have an extension for it like .cat part, .cat product, .cat drawing. And this is not the final list, you will have several file types and extensions but we are not going to discuss them in this tutorial. And these are more than enough uh, for a beginner. Now let us take an example to discuss about the file types and the file extension. Select now uh, we don't have an open file. If you go to window, it is blank. Now let us take the part file. See that is the part design workbench. I'm going to open the part design workbench and click part design and here it is prompting to enter a name. I'm going to enter the name as um Helical Spring. Click OK. Now right now what is the workbench? The current workbench is our design work. Can you observe it? Now let us try to save it. File save and I'm going to save it on the desktop and can you observe this tab? So we are having a tab called save as file. Now this is nothing but a file type. Okay? The default file type for the part design workbench okay, or the part file is cat part okay? and if you expand it you will have several file types some of them for uh, importing this file into some other cat packages like soe solidworks okay? but right now we are not going to discuss about them and the default file type is cat let us save this file and go back to the desktop. Now we are having the helical screen and if you go to properties, if you go to details, here you can observe helical spring dot cat part. Now the file extension for part file is dot cat part. I click OK and come back to KTV file. Now let us take some other file. I will open assembly design. Now right now we are having a product. Click window. So here is our previous part file and right now we are having a product file. Now I want to save this one. Now go to file and select save and here the default file type for the product is .cat product. Now simply save it. Okay, already there is a file on the desktop with the same name. Now simply you can override it. Okay. Now we got product one dot cat part cat product. Okay. Now let us go back to desktop and here is my product file. And if you go to product details, you can find it. Product one dot cat product. And the next file type is the drawing file. Now open KTRV file and go to start and select draft. Click OK. Now we got a drawing file. Now let us save this one. Simply observe it. Okay. Now you will get the point later. Now what is the default file extension? Cat drawing. Simply save it. 
can already there is a file on the desktop so you can go override it and here is my drawing file and if you go to properties and details you can you observe it drawing one dot hat drawing now these are the basic file types which we are going to discuss in this tutorial art product and drawing now for each and every file type we are having several workbenches see in this list we are having sketcher part design and wireframe and surface design and generator shape design under art file type and we are having assembly design and the dmu kinematic under product file and we are having only one workbench it is drafting under drawing file type and we are having knowledge layer which can be applied for both part and product now let us observe the application of file type come back to uh, the city of file software now let us go back to helical screen Observe the name helical spring. Right now we are in helical spring file. And what is this file? This is a part file. We saved it and the part file. And the extension is dot cat part. Now right now, what is the current workbench? The current workbench is part design. So there is a difference between workbench and file type. File type is part and the current workbench is part design. Okay. So these are workbenches. Part design is a workbench, and part is a file. Now in part file, we are having several workbenches. The first one is part design. Next one is wireframe and surface design. Don't get confused. Okay. And the third one is generator sheet metal and generator sheet design. In the same manner, we are having some other workbenches which are related to part. Now, what does this mean? Now, if you have uh, several workbenches under the same file type, we can simply navigate from one workbench to another workbench. That is, we can switch from one workbench to another workbench without creating a new file or without changing the current file. So, right now we are in helical screen and the current workbench is hard design. Now, simply go to start and i will select wireframe and surface design now can you observe it see right now we are still in helical screen but the workbench got switched from art design to wireframe and surface design and in the same manner you can switch from wireframe and surface design to generator shape design or you can switch it from wireframe and surface design to generator shape design because all these workbenches are having file type as part and the extension is dot cat part okay now right now what is the current workbench generator shape design so these are the workbenches which come under part file type okay now what are the workbenches can you list them out first one is part wireframe generator sheet metal generator shape design and freestyle see i am i am listing out the only workbenches which are going to be covered in this tutorial and the next file type is the product so here right now we are in part file and if you go to start and if you select a workbench which is uh, related to product file see if you take assembly design it is a product file okay assembly design workbench can be saved as a product file so if you click assembly design it will generate a new file can you observe it so right now uh, the window has been switched from helical spring to product it is uh, we selected a workbench which is not related to the current file type can you observe it so previously we are in helical spring workbench now this is a part file related workbench okay the so generator shape design is a part file related workbench and this is a part file and if you select some other workbench which is not related to the current part file okay uh, which is not 
related to current file type then instead of switching the workbench it will create a new file okay it created a new file now see right now what is the file type product is the file type and the workbench is assembly design now assembly design is related to product file okay now this file is a product file now let us select start and if you, if you click dmu kinematics the dmu kinematics is is also a product file so if you click on it it will not create a new file simply it will switch the toolbars from assembly design to dmu kinematics now what is the workbench digital mockup kinematics okay that is dmu kinematics but so right now we are in product group and this is a product file so if you select a part file related workbench that is either part design or wireframe generator sheet metal or generator shape design simply it will create a new file so right now i'm going to select wireframe and surface design which is which is uh, a part file okay and right now we are in product file so it will generate a new part click ok and now we got new file. And this is the difference between file type and file extension. I hope you understood the difference between a workbench and a file type. Each and every file type will have several workbenches. Like under part, we are having part design, wireframe, surface design, generator sheet metal, generator shape design, and etc. And in the same manner, under product file, we are having assembly, assembly design and BMU kinematics. And in the same manner, under drawing file, we are having drafting work. I forgot to explain one more topic that is um, to take this table, we are having one more workbench which is knowledge where advice. And so, here we are having both files like part or product. Now, what does this mean? This means that we can apply the features from knowledge where for both part file or product okay now let us go back to the software i will close all the files okay. now let us take a new file i'm going to open a part file under part design mode Now let us keep it as part one. Before. Now we got part one, and this is a part file, and the current workbench is part design workbench. Now let us go to knowledge where advice. Now can you observe it? So still we are in part file, and the file is part one. But simply we are switching from part design workbench to knowledge where advisor. So we can apply the features from knowledge where advisor workbench to this part file. Okay. And in the same manner, now let us take the product file. I'm going to open it in assembly design workbench. Now right now we got a product and the file type is product file and the current workbench is assembly design. Now let us go to start and select knowledge where and can you observe it still we are in product one which is a product file and the workbench is switched from assembly design to knowledge advisor okay. and we can apply the features from knowledge advisor to this product now what does this mean so here we are having some workbenches which can be opened in both part and product environment okay. so we can open it in part file or we can open it in product file why i'm explaining this topic is to simplify the navigation and the interface of CKV. if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe and like them thank you